Well, the weather's finally broken. Um, I think that's summer done for us this year. Uh, it's now starting to rain. So I've decided to get in, in, uh, in the smaller workshop and start uh, going through some of the parts for the Jeep. Uh, unboxing stuff like this and uh, getting them ready and cleaned up, ready to go to go back on. Um, been digging through one or two of the older videos I had, and I found some of the Mulag. And the Mulag is a little uh, tracked flail. Uh, basically, it's a little um, diesel-powered um, tracked unit with a six-foot flail uh, on, mounted on the front. And um, it's an incredible bit of kit. It's it's like the actual chassis of it is an aluminium um, tub, almost like a boat so it'll just slide over rough ground and um, almost float on you know on wet ground um, and we were asked to go and uh, flail some undergrowth uh, on, a, on a big wooded slope I mean it was steep I mean the, you know you can never tell with the camera angles it never really shows how uh, steep it was but um, this whole bank had uh, just it's just full of springs you know water just pouring out all the while it's almost just like water covered in soil it was that bad um, and I'm trying to you know film the mule lag as we were going along and I couldn't walk a lot of the way beside it because it's just so wet you know I've just gone over the tops of my boots and getting stuck myself but you know the mule lag because of its um, low ground pressure um, you know just copes with it so uh, yeah the plan was to get rid of a lot of the own undergrowth uh, and then hopefully let the sunlight dry the ground up um, but uh, you know you'll see in the video um, you can see how wet it is but as I said you know the, the mule lag coped fantastically 